so moving on from the Game Awards uh, that happened in December, I can't think of anything else extremely noteworthy that happened in December when we were gone. Uh, off of Twitch. <laughs> a lot of stuff on Twitch, but not a lot off of Twitch. Yeah. Um, to be honest, Twitch news just kind of like melts at this point into like one ball. <laughs> And as soon Amazing. as the next <laughs> quick news comes out, I've completely forgot about the last one. Because Amazing. I'm just like... <laughs> so, let's... Yeah. To, to, to preface uh, the rest of the show, we do have to talk about... You know, I was mentioning the Capitol protests, the Capitol riots, the terrorist attacks. I'm gonna, I, Look, we all know how I am. I'm going to say how I feel. It was terrorist. It was it was it was a terrorist act. I'm sorry. I, 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 I you know, I'm not afraid to upset that type of people. If you're upset, I mean, by it was, by, it was by definition a terrorist attack. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're, I mean, you're going to get yeah. offended by that I'm calling it a terrorist attack, then there's the door. Uh, but look, that was a terrorist attack, uh, so on and so forth. You know, I've had a lot of arguments with, you know, I have a lot of people in my family that typically vote Republican. Not necessarily Trump's Trump supporters. They just always vote red. And it's been it's been a lot of hard conversations that I've had to have. You know, people saying, "Oh, well, the, the you know the Q, you guys know who the QAnon shaman is right, the guy that had the the mm -hmm. the, the big bearskin yeah. head and the horns, the QAnon yeah. shaman, he arrested. right? He was arrested, but so many people yeah. were pointing out the fact that he was at the Arizona riots. It's a cropped photo. Show the full photo. It's literally him yeah. with a sign. That's a spear, by the way. Take a look at that yeah. one more time. The sign is yeah, a spear. Yeah, a... Okay. Yeah. And it's got the words, Q sent me. There's literally on Twitter today, uh, I saw a video that yeah. one of my friends had actually like duetted on TikTok. And so I don't know where the original video is, but there's a video of a guy actually interviewing him at this like failed coup attempt from last Wednesday. Um, and he was like asking him questions. Like he asked him, Oh, what does your sign say? And it showed like the one side of the sign. And then he flipped it around and it said it had like the QAnon stuff. And he was like, I'm here because QAnon, you know, if you don't know who QAnon is, blah, 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 blah. It's, it's this person and they're disseminating information to, you know, true patriots and all this stuff. And he was talking about just nothing but QAnon stuff. And I was like, it's right here. It's literally, like, he is talking about it. it. There's nothing else he can be. He is 100% a QAnon supporter. He's not Antifa. He's not some Oh, my, my favorite was, um... My favorite was all the, the weird Republican bots uh, claiming one dude being a communist Antifa supporter because he had a dishonor oh, yeah. tattoo on his hand. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they said, they said, it, they said it was the, com yeah, the, hammer, the hammer and sickle <laughs> yeah. of communism. It's a fucking dishonor tattoo. Yeah. yeah. And I remember I saw the picture of it and I was like, huh, that was weird. And it didn't click. I've been playing those games and it didn't click that that's the logo from those games. <laughs> and then someone pointed it out and I was like, wait, yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> How do you yeah, play a yeah. game like Dishonored that literally deals with like a fascist government and the way they run things during a, during a pandemic, by the way? <laughs> and that's what that game said. How do you play yeah. that and then do this? <laughs> and like the game oh, enough to get a tattoo yeah. of it. Yeah. <laughs> People just, they, they People have just separated themselves so far <laughs> from reality. <laughs> To the point where, like, they they won't see, like, the irony and the coincidence in things happening around them because they're so wrapped up in, like, their own little, like, bubble that's mm -hmm. just so far from anything logical. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It really is. Otherwise, I mean, you would think, you'd be like, you're literally playing this game that is the exact thing that is happening and you're... You know, doing the complete opposite, but you're not going to see that because you're just so wrapped up in in your little conspiracy bubble. There was a, there was only one positive that came out of that weird terrorist thing, and that was a meme on Twitter where someone put a weird fascist lady and interspliced her with the Animaniacs. The Animaniacs, like, uh, yes. <laughs> and it, fucking, one of you know who did it? <laughs> you know who did it? it so perfect. Uh, I'm to find... oh, was it him? Oh, okay. Oh, was it? <laughs> it was Shmoyo. Oh, like, that makes so much sense of why it fits so perfectly. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, oh my god, I, I was 
that killed me. It was so. Yeah, I'm so fucking hilarious. I was crying laughing at it. The man with the choose your fighter. That was that was pretty funny. Oh yeah, the choose your fighter was funny too. Yeah, choose your fighter was funny. But I really, what's funny? I have to say, I think my favorite meme was one that's just a picture of like an older lady that uh, was there with like her water bottle and like her flag, and she was in the Capitol, but she was. I don't know. I couldn't tell. She very well could have just been a 40-year-old lady on meth, but she looked like she was 60. Um, and they had it labeled, and it just said, You're right! Aunt Tifa was there. Aunt Tifa. There was a report about the guy who took the picture with like the lectin. Mm-hmm. Um... And like he was the one who was like stealing the lectin doing that weird yeah. thing. Uh, he got arrested because obviously. Uh-huh. And uh, someone yeah. quote retweeted it saying his lawyer said that at trial he won't be taking the stand. And I was like, well done. <laughs> <laughs> well done. That's done. Well, you know, so... Do you know how? Do you know <laughs> so how good. I know that intelligence does not live in that in that mindset? Um, <laughs> that lady that was in the Animaniac splice. Mm. Do you know? That she revealed her entire name, address, and yeah. location? <laughs> so many people did that. Some dude was like, I went yeah. in and looked at Pelosi's documents and was like, and the article went, so and so, age 60 from this place. And I'm like, this dude had, I don't know whether it was just the balls or the lack of brains. He went up to a, a, little, report. Both. a little bit of both. Who went up to a fucking reporter and was like, Hi, I'm so and so. This is my age. Here's where I live. Yeah, I went into uh, the, head, the head speaker's office, put my feet up on her desk, and looked for her. And, stole, and stole some of her mail? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There it is. It's your picture of it. Yeah. I was like, You're fucking. You literally insane. gave them evidence of a crime. Like, yeah. I don't understand. And what's funny is, the Don, literally over the summer, Made it a feller made it a felony of any mm-hmm. type of trespassing on government property or defacing mm-hmm. uh, government property. Yeah, is is ten years in prison, and it is a felony trespassing, not a misdemeanor trespassing. Felony. Yep. Do you know what that means? That means in ten years, when they finally get out of prison, they cannot get a gun. Now. The Democrats are helping them out yep. because a lot of the progressives and liberals want to make it so felons can still vote. So you won't lose your right to vote in 10 years when you come out. But the, it's funny because all these people are pro-gun, which I mean, I'm pro-gun. I'm okay with having guns as long as they're, you know, manageable and no assault rifles. But you can't get a gun. You can't own yep. a gun. If you're a felon, misdemeanors are okay. But thanks to Donald Trump, it is now a felony to do what they... Well, I mean, it was probably going to be a felony no matter what. But even just being yeah. on government property is considered defacing it. And it is yep. now a felony. So, yeah, it's so it's funny to me. And again, smashing the windows of the Capitol building, though. and that, That's, and that's going to be illegal no matter... That's going to be a felony no matter what. But yeah. thanks to the Donald, <laughs> the man that they so love and look up to and worship like he's the second coming of Jesus... He fucked him. He yeah, fucked yeah. him so hard. And oh. then it's so funny to me because Donald in 24 hours time, and it might not even have been 24. It might have been 12, 15. I don't know. But this man goes, I love you. You're special to me. Go home. And then 12 hours later, he's like, I condemn the protest. And this is, we are supposed to be the law, the, the party of law and order and you do not go, yeah. like it's just he literally well, yeah, went from the lawyer probably stepped to the one you know they're going to take you to jail for this right even more yeah, so probably. shut the fuck up delete it yeah probably so it's already looking pretty, pretty bad fam I yeah. maybe don't <laughs> yeah, maybe, yeah, you should, maybe, maybe you should maybe you back should back on this one yeah that that was the things that he said like I mean I watched it happen live because I, I had actually I pulled up a stream so that I could watch because I, I didn't have access to C-SPAN at my office. And so I pulled up a streamer on Twitch that had it streaming. And I was watching it while I was working. I, I, and I, I just kept taking there. 
Huh? Yeah, I watched. I watched. Like, this I can't remember late. the name. Sorry, I can't remember the name. There was there was a streamer who was like stream like reacting to the events. I don't know if he was actually streaming anything, uh, or he was just going through Twitter and refreshing Twitter. But uh, he had like two hundred and fifty thousand views or something at some point, and then ended up getting taken down multiple times throughout that stream. I'll see if I can find it, huh. but uh, I remember reading about that. Because the one the one that I was watching was up pretty much the whole time. And, uh, like, we just, we watched, like, the whole thing unfold. Like, I, I was watching when, uh, like, there was a commotion in the chamber. And then they were like, all right, everybody, you know, calm down, we're gonna keep going. And then all of a sudden they started rushing people out. And the streamer was like, wait, what's happening? What's going on? And then we were all like, what the hell is going on? And then you hear, like... He pulled up another news feed, and they were talking about how, like, they breached the Capitol, and we were like, what the fuck is happening? And then, like, he played when when Trump uh, did his first speech that was like, I love you, go home. And I was just like, what is this man doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Like, you, we've all just been watching all of this happen, and you're telling these people, this is fine. This is just, fine. Go just go home. home. Just this go home, fine. sweetie, it's okay. It's okay, sweetheart. Just go home. Yeah, just it's it's ridiculous, wild, man. Yeah. Like, because we don't, we don't have life. We didn't have any live feeds of that stuff. Like anything. Right? It was Twitter, and then that amazing ITV report. Like, yeah. Oh god, the, the ITV best, report was incredible. Which was one of the best reports I've ever seen in my life. Like, it's yeah. incredibly done. Uh, if if you haven't seen that, I recommend you uh, go uh, look it up. It's on their Twitter, ITV News. Mm -hmm. Might have to scroll a bit. Mm -hmm. um, but. Uh, yeah, it's one of the best reports I've ever seen. Is like he's on, he's literally on the scene, walking through the Capitol building with them, like reporting on the, with these fucking crazy people around him. Yeah, you know? it's like he's in he, he's in a very dangerous situation here. Like and I saw, just, there was that one part of it when like crazy. the guy was like, like physically like getting up against him and like pushing him. And like one of the, uh -huh. I think one of the security guards like, had to like, pull him away and was like, "Get, get back!" There, there, there was there was a shot where he's like literally getting pulled into a crowd of people, yeah. and he continues fucking talking as he's doing. Yeah, he's it. just still talking. <laughs> it's been yeah, wild. crazy. That yeah. entire event's crazy. Though. But I mean, it's just uh, I don't it's just uh, you 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 just uh, there's 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 oodles and oodles of noodles of proof. <laughs> that intelligence does not fall very far into that entire regime. <laughs> All right. Uh, that but, streamer was uh, Hassan, Hassanabi. Oh, Hassan. No, yeah, yeah, Hassan. Hassan. Yeah, Hassan. Yeah. 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 Apparently, he got taken that a couple of times. Or it really? went down a couple of times. Yeah. From what well, I beat. well, here's the funny thing about that. I don't think it was. I don't think necessarily Twitch took him down per se, because I think Twitch was just trying to keep it on, like. Oh, I, don't, under wraps. I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know if it was Twitch who took it down. I know he theorized that after getting taken down for like the third time. Yeah. <laughs> when it's and, called, and, when and, it was a connection issue. But I don't think it, I don't think it was Twitch going, you're not allowed to show this. I think it was Twitch being afraid of why he was showing it. Because yeah. all of the yeah. because all of the because Hassan is is typically a liberal leaning uh polit politics guy, so I don't think he was necessarily trying to incite more um like incite more uh, rage or incite more protests but what i do think is twitch and and their actions and we're going to get into this now the actions that twitch took afterwards make me mm -hmm. feel like they probably took him down in fear of what he might be doing